evolves to prime poison. Wait, did you mean Oh, one? there we go. Prime poison pteranodon. Oh, for you. Want for now. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Ark Eternal Crystal Isles. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, we are back, and in the last episode, we built this awesome base here. I showed you the little cheaty Anki and its awesome, awesome abilities. And in this episode, we're going to go uh, hang out with Rowan and do some taming. I know he wants some cool stuff. He's talked about maybe some kind of Bronto or Quetzal. So we're going to find him something. Also, I went and saw that that uh, Dota Rex is still sleeping on that beach right over there. And I think near the end of the episode, I'm probably going to go over there and try to get that thing tamed up for us. So... I'll bring you guys back in when we jo join Rowan. Alright, almost over there so I can meet you. We can go ahead out and find something cool or a few something cools to tame. Whee! Oh, you're riding a bug! Yes, it is my moth. The Mothra. Dun, dun, dun. I got my Tauntaun. Woohoo! Okay, so what do we want to find for you? Well, we need to find... First thing first, we need to get quit. So Actually, I need to get some armor. Yeah, do you see? I, I believe I put crystal tools on you, which are great for gathering the stuff. Um, don't... Oh, crystal tools. Alright, let me see. I think there was something else somewhere around here. Oh yeah, one thing I can give you is... Actually, I'm going to put it on your Tauntaun. All I have is a quick soul pickaxe. Ooh, wow, you got a bunch of points for this guy. 112 levels. I did go ahead and throw some XP potions on him <laughs> between uh, the last time you were on. That's good. Um, can you craft? Because I have to. I think I have to unlock it. But I might. Might have ability to do so. Yes, I do have the ability to do so. I can unlock. I can unlock. Craft wood. Where's metal armor? Where are oh, you? if you want to make better stuff, get the no durability. That's what I got. It has no durability on it. I just have to find the metal armor. Actually, if we really want to do it, we should head to my base, where there's more stuff. Your base? Yes. You made a separate base? I feel... Well, yeah. I mean, need a place for storing the dinos. Ah! Especially with all the things that are going to be coming Black. in the future. I don't know why I didn't just teleport over here, because I did get the teleporters up and running. Like so. Okay. Let me throw you oh. some armor. Yay! Armor! It's rain and armor! Look at my beard, it's just hanging out. Yeah, I, did you see my, uh... Afro? <laughs> <laughs> well, mohawk, yeah. I gave myself a haircut. It's, it's more of an afro mohawk, because it's too long to be a mohawk. Yeah. Well, it's because my hair's been growing out again. Okay, well, we should be ready to go find something to tame now. I got this behemoth gate up top for flyers. I'm gonna need like, a couple things. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna need a, a T-Rex though. That's for sure. A, a, T-Rex. Uh, breeding pair. Yeah, a breeding pair of T-Rex. 
Oh, uh, well, I can do that. I should grab my other guy, though, just so we can knock it out easier. Where well, did you go, though? I, I just came back to the base so I can grab my, uh, my better tamer, my ultimate topor machine, and there's actually a bunch of T-Rex really close by. So I can show you that. There's also Dota Rexes down there too. So I have to be a little bit careful. But yeah, I'm right by the base. If you're here, like my base area. Yeah, I'm flying back right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So ah, we come... he won't stop pooping. Oh my god. Well, if you take off, he'll stop pooping. Don, Don, I know you have diarrhea. It's all right. It's what it did, bro. Oh, right. it did. Right over this way, there's a bunch of T-Rexes. I'm sure we could find one of them that might suit your needs. Is it random um, effects that you when you breathe them, or do you, if you breathe two fires, you get a fire? Uh, you're probably gonna get two fires if you breed two fires together. Okay, there's some Dota Rexes. You're gonna want to stay away from some of these things. My guy can handle them. Yours. Dodo Rexes. How much and... topo am I doing to these guys now? Oh well, at least 1.2 million because that guy's knocked out. <laughs> Guess uh, I'm I can go ahead and just start knocking all this stuff out, and you can choose your pick of the litter. This is true. Right, all those. Got him. This guy out as well. Most of these, it's just gonna take me one hit to knock them out. Oh man, good stuff. Are you killing that Dota Rex? Oh no, you're knocking it out. The lightning. Oh, but you're hitting the alpha. Ah. Oh, Wait, let me see. What level is that alpha? Yeah, can you get that guy? Yeah, one moment. Oh, that alpha is a 580 too. Too bad it's probably gotten hit a couple times. Save him! And the lightning's out. <laughs> So, at least all the T-Rexes in the area are, and the Dota Rexes are knocked out. So it should be oh, What are all these safe. Dota Rexes? Are they a mod? Dota. Uh, yeah, they're part of the mod. The Eternal Dominus Dota Rex. The Infinite Dota Rex. Indubitably. Might need to find some Prime to put on those guys, though. Here, I'm gonna kill this other Dota Rex. Uh, he's a 500. We'll get some prime off of him. Um, 540 for the Dodo Rex. Female. Yeah, I already have a Dodo Rex that's been knocked out for days that I am looking for to tame. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go... He's like right near here. So I can take care of him while you're starting to tame up some of these guys. Let me come over here and give you some prime. Where are you at? Um, they're a female. Oh, you're You're, by, you're, you're by that alpha? Or, no, this yeah. is a fire guy, right? So I think this is alpha. Fire's over there, I think. Uh, okay. Here, let me toss uh, the prime on your tauntaun. I think I just maxed out the levels on my Tranodon from killing that Dota Rex. Alright, there's some Prime. Should be plenties. Oh, I gotta get rid of this Terror Bird. And Eternal Copy. Giant, giant copy. Man, I gotta knock out a bunch of stuff before I can get to the uh, the Dota Rex I want to tame up. There's a ton of guys Sarah. over here.
Okay, I'm trying to grab this lava golem and bring him away from everything. Eat. Oh, got loot turrets. Dodo Rex. I'm gonna name you Tam. Oh, there we go. I got mine. I'm gonna name you a little bit later when it's not such a dangerous area. And up, oh, up, oh, zerp. I gotta pick you up, big boy. Put you on my shoulder. Did I? Oh crap! I got rid of my pickup mod. I'm gonna have to come back and get that thing. We're gonna have an army on our side. Oh yeah. Jack. Bring our names. There you are. My precious. Can you craft me a remote? Uh, there should be one back at the starter base area that I left there for you, but I should be able to make another one pretty easy. Alright. Got that. Pick him up. Put him in my pocket. Murder it! Oh. My army of Rexes. <laughs> Look at it. There's a Dota Rex on my shoulder. It's so cute. And massive. <laughs> uh... Should be able to make you a canteen and stuff too, so that you uh, don't have to worry about your water as much. But yeah. Yeah, if you want more rexes, there's quite a few knocked out here, and they'll probably stay knocked out for a while, unless they come through yeah, here come and want to kill them. them. I want to bring this um, litter back. All right, we I might as well. We might as well. Uh, here, if you get them piled up, I can send them all back for you. Uh, okay. Just have them all stop. Wow, you did get quite a few. <laughs> uh, wow, you even got what is that thing? The jack. Can't remember what those are, but he's a poison guy. You know what else we should get you today? Get you one of these prime uh, pteranodons as well. So you can okay. knock out big stuff. Okay. Uh, make sure that you move away from all these guys and unfollow right. them. Okay. And I'm going to transport them back to Row Bagel Starter Base. Get out of the circle of <coughs> words. <coughs> all right. Oh, that's sent most of them. And send you over there. Bam. All right, now we can go and uh, find some other stuff. Yeah, we could actually start heading in the direction of the the base th of that base, and there's there's usually like the prime pteranodons in that direction, like the area that we have that starter base and everything at. Wow, you do some big circles around me. Yes, I'm literally Mr. flying circles around you, Mr. Speedy. So yeah, the prime pteranodons, you can notice them by, like, being a bright blue color with black on them. Okay. So we can just head out here to the islands and move, go around and search for one. If you find one, you can let me know. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm gonna need to go get my moth because this guy's way too powerful to knock out one of them. He'll kill it. Oh, here's a prime. What level are you? 580. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna knock it out. It's knocked out in one hit. <laughs> okay. Now I just need to tell you where I'm at. And I don't have the prime on me. I think I left it on one. Oh, I, I got prime. It's fine. I am okay. at, uh, what, about 6610? 6010? Uh, 6610. Okay.
And this guy should. Yep, there he goes. There you go. Oh God! What? No! What? Ah! Uh, no. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Oh, he's following me. Let me unfollow that guy for you. I'm taking back place. Follow me if you want to live. Oh, well, you can just ride the Dodorex. That's not always great, though, because he doesn't He's have... here. Oh, zerp. Oh, yep, I can tell that you were loading in here because <laughs> the lag that happened when you t teleported over. Okay, uh, let me throw these saddles at you. Uh, drop, drop. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like the Dodorex does not need a saddle, so that's good and bad. Yes, bad and good, good and bad. Because don't get that benefit of... Wee. I'm gonna shave dinosaurs. See, oh yeah. What kind of stats does your guy have here? Not too bad, I'm guessing. 226,000 HPs. Oh yeah. You wanna check out what uh, stats I have on my prime poison, real quick? Just to see what you can uh, expect. That's nice. You have like a. 100 points suspended. Well, you can you can put a maximum of 250 points into each stat. If you go over that, you will uh, reset it and then you're screwed. <laughs> well, not completely screwed. There is a potion that will allow you to reset the stats and allow you to re-put in all the points. But let's go down below here so we can evolve your guy into poison. Okay. Let's do it. Right Whee! down here. Okay. We want to park a little bit away from mine. Not too close. Because it'll do a little circle. Up. Oh. Bees. Stop. Stupid Titan Mamirmas. You guys are dumb. Bees of death. Destruction. They want to attack this thing. They're so dumb. He's doing 93,000 uh, yeah. uh, damage just from his left click. <laughs> his right click does like 250,000. Okay, so I'm going to take there. this off from you. And what you want to do is hop up on him and push control. Make sure, yeah, and then control. There you go. We want to get off of him and take the saddle off real quick. So hop off up. Off of him, take the saddle off, yep, and then add a circle, and he will evolve into a out prime the poison. It's just safe to be out of it, you know. You never know what could happen. <laughs> and. Evolves to prime poison. Wait, did you mean oh, the there we go, prime poison pteranodon. Oh, for you. For now. You're gonna have to Yeesh. yep rename again. Here, Mega. Push and you. Mega. Push you. You you. And then he'll stop Mega. following you. There we go. Yeah. Now we have you here. So. And now you have an epic, epic knockout machine. Yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> You'll be knocking stuff out in style like me in no time. Alright, alright. Okay. So, I want to break things off now and we'll go check out our tames. Yes, yes, indeed. We'll break all things right. off and then we'll, um, I'll go to my base, you go to yours and for the rest of the video. Sounds good. Have fun. Alright guys, we're back. We're gonna go check out our Dodorex guy here very soon, which I'd love a name for him if you can give me one in the comment section down below. Uh, between episodes, I did tell you guys that I would set up power and water and all that good stuff, and I didn't mention it in the uh, 
the intro that I did before Rowan and I hung out. So I thought I'd show you now. We got running water. I hit all the pipes and the wires. So there's wires and pipes everywhere. You just have no idea where they are. Let me go ahead and fill our canteen back up like so. So now we got all the stuff in our base here all connected and working. Let's see, go in here and you guys have probably noticed during the episode so far that we got power up. So we have refrigerators and all the good stuff working. So we're going to go ahead and make our way to the desert. Let me just come out here like a so and up oh, up oh, yeah and we're gonna go teleport to the desert location right there and uh level this guy up see what he's like oh that was uh that was nice and fast though uh you probably saw me mention this guy does not have a saddle which is not great just because you don't get that added um armor effect Man, you are a loud stomper, my friend. 42,000 starting damage. Okay. What's your... Here, let's see what are your stats like. Oh, my. 3.6 million starter HPs. 53,000 stamina. I mean, we'll never have to worry about that. 30,000 weight. Oh, yeah. I think you are definitely going to be my new uh, farming machine for going out and just murdering stuff and getting a lot of the blood and the hearts and all that good stuff. Melee started pretty low, which gives it a good room for improvement, and movement speed is 100. How, how, how fast are you? It's decent. Okay. Come on. Wow. Yep, this is going to take a little bit until we get some points into... Oop. Uh, into... Oops. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, into its... I pushed the wrong button there. I was trying to hit the awesome spyglass so we could see what his HPs are like, which are pretty, pretty close. And that bleed effect these guys does uh, do is no joke. Eh, not too much. Are we going to get some good levels from that guy maybe? 110. Okay. Also, uh, oops, I am hungry. Let's just eat some food. Uh, we're recording this on Friday, and they just released the Eternal Level Up Counter, which is... Very cool. You don't have that little county thing up here anymore from the regular level up counter that we've used and loved for so very long. But uh, this one's pretty cool too. Just watch. So let's put into melee. It does it twice right now, which I'm not really sure why that is, but it's pretty cool effect though. I'm just going to pump all these levels into damage. Oh yeah. 110 levels right into the damages. What are we going to do to you now? Oh, come on, if I can hit it. Oh, 229,000 damage. Oh, yeah. That's about as much as our Rex is doing, and he's maxed out. I can't imagine what this Dodo Rex will do once we've had him maxed out, which I think I'm going to go around and work on getting this guy leveled up more. Wow, that sun is so harsh for us. Uh, yeah, get this guy leveled up more and just show you what he is really capable of. All right, guys, we're back. So I got this guy completely maxed out here with 10,625.9% melee damage. I put like, what, about five points into movement speed and only went up to 10 and then I put as much in the health as I could. It came out to be, I think, about 244 points into the HPs before I was completely maxed out here. So how much HPs do we actually have? We got, that's 
hundred thousand ninety eight million HPs. Ninety eight million. That is crazy. I want to find something good to show you the damage. Six hundred or four hundred sixty seven thousand damages. So so good. Look at that. So amazing. Almost a half a million just with hitting him. And I totally forgot to show you guys the the uh, right click, which I will show you in a moment. Just want to kill some more stuff here. Show you what we can do. It's funny because the Kenthros have been one of the harder things, at least the prime ones. Those guys have a lot of HPs actually. Goodbye, Eternal Lanky. Okay, so this is, you guys have probably seen the right click, uh, let me get rid of, nope, you, so you're off the screen, okay, so right click, blow fire, oh yeah, so good, uh, the damage isn't amazing on the breath, but I will show you that myself, up, oh, up, oh. Okay, 10,000 per tick of it, so not too bad if you can actually hit him, but it's a, it's a very finite hitbox with this guy, so it can be a little bit difficult if something gets underneath you, but if you're fighting something big, then I can imagine the breath would be very, very awesome. So, I think with that, we are going to call out an end of this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to show your support. And tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long!